Hello everyone, this is Sister Roland and all I need is a few minutes to talk about the lady with the bang yang at it again. So I, she posted this a few days ago. I screenshotted it when it came up in my feed. But I didn't have a chance to make a video until today. And so here we go. Using another tragedy to push her agenda. This young lady pictured with her daughter. I believe the daughter um, lost her life because the child's father did some stuff. I really don't know the story because when stuff happened to little kids, when kids, when kids are involved in stuff like that, I those stuff. I don't know. Very hard for me to make a video, so I didn't research this story. But anyway, but I've seen it. And obviously she has, and you know, she has an agenda. And this is what she says about what happened to this family. Black women, except for the black male worshiping ones. Oh, that's me. Well, I don't worship black men, but yes, I love black men. Let me know when you're ready to selective. Let me know when you're ready to selective mate. And thin the herd. Herd? H-E-R-D? Okay. We really are out here using our wombs to bring this to life? <laughs> uh, you, If you know, if you know this lady, you shouldn't be surprised. Her um, saying stuff like that. But now it's like she's taking these tragedies and then pushing her agenda even more you know just to convince just in case y'all didn't believe me um women who want to argue with me and who want to be black male worshipers and stuff like that here you go instead of using this moment this story to educate to inform you could warn people you know you'll be careful who you procreate with and stuff like that because sometimes you think you know the person and you don't but she's using this to push her agenda. Hey, yeah, you guys, because you know her thing is, if you are carrying like a black male, you should you know, get rid of that black male. That's her, that's her thing. But then now she's saying thin the herd, so maybe it's get rid of all, all black children. Who knows what she's thinking, child. And I've seen other community posts where she's talking about, um, all you need to do is get a a roommate, a live in D. Just get a live in D and then, you know, you deal with certain stuff like that. But you're not educating these women on how to pick these live in Ds. Like this young lady, she didn't know. She probably didn't know, you know, this guy would have did this. Or who knows? We don't know the full backstory. But you who have an audience, Miss Cynthia G., you're not helping your audience either. And then the things that you are teaching, that's like from the pits of hell itself. Because you're telling these women, oh, just get a live in D. But get a live in D. How you choose a live in D? Because you're going to choose that person from your pain, from your frustration. And then you're going to end up choosing the wrong one. Oh, yes, because all you're doing is looking at, hey, he look like he got a big one. Oh, look at his print. Oh, he look like he could, the cat, he could slurp it up real good. But you don't see something's off with this guy. He ain't all there. Mm, I, got, I got this feeling. But you're going to ignore it because you don't know how to choose. Because this, you, you, don't, you don't have any other knowledge besides the knowledge. Oh, don't deal with them. Oh, this is this, this and that. Thin the herd and stuff like that. Just use them for what's, what, what they, their third leg. But you don't know how to choose them. And you don't know how to listen to your intuition as a woman. Because even, cause I can't even say you um, listen to God because a lot of you guys that follow her, you guys into tarot, tarot cards and stuff like that. And you already have bitterness, resentment, and frustration, pain, and hatred, and disdain. So you can't even hear when God is telling you, no, don't go there. Don't, don't, 
return his call. Don't talk to him. You can't even hear that. But then you have your intuition because that's something that God placed in every human. But as a mother, because you carry life, your intuition is even stronger. When your intuition is telling you, you won't be able to listen. And as a result, that's why many men of you are victim to balloons in the sky, to being robbed, to being cheated on, being taken advantage of. Your children are taken advantage of because why? You don't know how to choose. Because you're, you're, you're being, your pain is being fed. Your resentment is being fed. But your brain is not being fed. Your soul is not being fed. Your in in intellect is not being fed. And I recently saw she had a post. I think she just posted it. <sighs> that, oh, <laughs> somebody made some type of data. And it shows that black women... <laughs> when they get married is they they I guess get to a poor they become much poorer than other races so marriage benefits that race more than the black community wow so just to let you and say don't even don't argue me argue with the data okay where did this data come from this person that created this data what's his agenda or her agenda, whoever it is. Who did they, how many people did they, did, is, was it a survey that they did, a questionnaire? Well, sorry, question, same thing, child. What was it? What demographic of people did they ask? Where was, where did they go to ask it? Because I need to know the background to this data because some people who are pushing out these data, you need to, un because <laughs> the other day, because they talk about, um, you know, every five and a half hours, there's a black woman that loses her life. I'm not saying that's not true. But somebody pointed out and says, if every five and a half hour, black women are losing their lives, that's genocide. That's a lot of women. So when me, you, who are content creators, are talking because me I may not have a bigger a big audience but I have some people that listen to me when we sit out when you we sit on YouTube stand on YouTube or whatever and then we're giving our commentary and our opinions we have those people lives on our hands that are listening to us because you know everybody speak from where they are where they are and many of us have a lot of blood of our, on our hands. Because if every five and a half hours, women are losing their lives, what are we doing to decrease that number? I always ask that question. But when you telling these women, because like I always say, these women, you're feeding their pain, you're talking to their pain, you're feeding it, you're, their pain and resentment, their frustration with black men, but they're not going to stop dealing with black men. But since you're not equipping them so they could choose better they gonna that's why they end up with the ones that they're not even supposed to deal with and that's why this number is decreasing that's why that number is decreasing because very soon if it's not five and a half hours it's going to be every four hours every three hours every two what are we doing but since you have failed and you don't put you probably don't know what to do so you misery likes company so let me get people to go along with me and so i could spew out my disdain and my frustration or tell them to go you know outside their race too go outside your race since you can't since you can't work with black men go to another race but you going to another race how is that going to help you because you have, you thinking you only have resentment and disdain for black men, but you don't know your brain can tell, hey, okay, this resentment is for black men. This is not for Asians. This is not for white men. Okay, this to say no, it's gonna be the same thing. Your attitude is the same attitude you got towards the black man. It's gonna be to to another race, and you're gonna be difficult to deal with too.
but only a black man could deal with you because that's who we have grown up with. But yet you're going to go to another race and then if you go into another race in your frustration, your resentment, you're not going to find, you're not going to, you're going to get the same result because you have not healed. You have not done the work. You have to do the work. You have to get healed and then you will see better. When you get a cut, the more you ignore it, oh, the more you, you know, this, oh, it'll take care of itself. Sometimes it get worse. Some cuts you cannot ignore. Some heartbreak you can ignore. Okay, it wasn't even a serious thing. But some heartbreaks, you have to do the work. You have to get that healing. Just like a cut. If you ignore it, you're going to get gangrene. And then, the, then your whole limb going to have to get cut off. Just like that heartbreak. That pain. You don't deal with it. Other things going to get affected. And the things that this Cynthia G is spewing out. It's dangerous. It is very dangerous. And some people motivated by money and stuff like that. But as the Bible say, you who are teachers, you know who want to be teachers out here, you're going to pay, you, there's a, your judgment is stricter. If you are not a, a teacher, that means you're not teaching people stuff. You better thank God. But you are, if you are here teaching, me do, doing this teaching, your judgment is going to be stricter because you have people listening to you. There are literally people that will follow your every word. So that's why you have to be careful what you say. And that's why you have to be careful where you're speaking from. Because you may have a lot of blood on your hands. Stop using tragedies to push an agenda. Me, I have been hurt by some black men. There are some black men that have hurt me. But then are, there are many black men that have blessed me, encouraged me, helped me, protected me. In the times that are coming ahead, you want to need a spouse to survive. There's a passage in the Bible. I can't remember where it is. But where it was saying five women are going to get one man and they're going to say, please, we could provide our own home. We could buy, provide our own houses and stuff like that. Just give us our, our, um, your name to cover our shame. Don't let that happen to you. Don't let that happen to you. Because if you, if you, if you think a man is just, um, his worth is just what's between his leg. You don't understand the purpose of a man. You don't understand the purpose of a husband. And anybody who is preaching a divide. Very soon. You're going to find some place to go. You're going to find. You're going to be very busy. You're going to have. You're going to find something to do. Because you're not helping. You're not helping at all. You need to help people. Show people. Educate people. Inform people on how to choose, how to vet people. And I've seen in her comments too, people who have said, oh, even if you vet, vet people, you can't, there's no way you could vet people. Even if you vet people, they still could turn against you and stuff like that. What a sad existence to live. You can't vet nobody? You don't know how to vet people? Wow. Because people can fool you. Very true, people can fool you. But your intuition will never, never lead you wrong. If you listen to it. When you do the work and you get the healing that you so need, you're able to see clear and to choose better. Because you're not 
choosing from lust. You're not choosing from frustration. You're not choosing from pain. You're choosing from knowledge. You're choosing from a healed place. You, so you're able to choose better. And then even if it doesn't work out, you have the strength to walk away because you know you could do better. Because why? You did the work. Because you did the work. And hey, if it's a, a person of another race, if it's a person of a uh, of whatever, of the black race, it'll it'll work. Because you both have done the work. And if the person hasn't done the work, since you have done the work, you could help that person do the work. But if you have not done the work, if you have not healed, you will never be able to choose better. Ever. You're going to always keep on attracting the same thing because you have not done the work. You can't see. You can't discern. You cannot discern. And then when you know it's not good, you still hold on. You still hold on. Because, oh, I can't do any better. Oh, this is all I could do. I've been lonely for all this, this time. Oh, and you stay. Oh, who's going to take me? Who's going to take me? Because why are you speaking from low self-esteem? Anyway, that's all I have to say for now. This is a long video. Jesus, I didn't even want this thing to be this long. But anyway, that who who it's for is for. Even if it's for one person. So anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.